Max Track Live Doppler shows some showers around this morning. Not too many of them, but they're out there. And as you put the map into motion, yeah, they're on the move. And well, here comes your Wednesday. This is our best bet to see shower and thunderstorm coverage today and tonight. Although it should drop off this evening, uh, there's still that potential. You could have some bursts of heavy rain. You've got a pretty good shot of showers south of London around Manchester, and these will become more numerous as we go through the morning into the afternoon. You can see them picking up across western Kentucky. Uh, they've also got some lightning trying to get going back towards Murray. So big picture. This, of course, is related to what used to be Barry. That once hurricane, that brief hurricane. It was it was a hurricane for a hot second, right? And then it was briefly uh, at that strength and dropped down to tropical storm status at landfall last week. And now we're still dealing with the remnants right across the Ohio Valley. That's the severe threat for today, a marginal threat across far western Kentucky. So not too concerned about severe storms. The low formerly known as Barry now up over parts of uh, Indiana, moving east of Indy, and it's gradually going to track east as well. So just got an updated uh, position on that. Uh, so we'll update the graphic there. But by late today, it's out over eastern Ohio. And then into Thursday, it's cruising across Pennsylvania. It'll start to pick up speed as it moves out here. But it's going to be enough of an influence to do this today. Scattered showers and thunder showers out there. Pops of moderate to heavy rain. Not everybody gets hit. It's hit or miss. So don't expect an all-day soaking rain where you pick up an inch or two. But if you get caught in a couple of these showers and storms, you could pick up an inch or two. Just it's all about location today due to the scattered nature of this stuff. Uh, now tonight into tomorrow morning, uh, the future track trying to latch on to one little final burst into uh, tomorrow afternoon. I don't know that we'll see that. It's a low end threat, so we'll keep a low chance for a few showers and storms on Thursday. Most of it will be today. 75 degrees out there. The dew point still up there. We've got a south wind. It's going to be a breezy, blustery day today. A warm one, a muggy one, and an active one. 75 now, the dew point upper 60s to low 70s, so still awfully muggy out there. And as far as that potential for heat goes, of course, we've maxed out in the low 90s a number of times this year. We're going to meet that and exceed it going into the weekend as this big summer heat dome just clamps down across a good chunk of real estate from uh, out towards Texas, uh, Oklahoma, all the way toward the East Coast, a sprawling summer heat ridge. And uh, well, just the extent of the warnings and advisories that are up due to the heat already I should tell you what's brewing. Excessive heat warning already out Kansas City, Omaha. We've got a uh, an excessive heat watch. That means it's on the way, just not quite imminent yet. Uh, so this excessive heat watch is in effect for northern Kentucky, the bluegrass running into western Kentucky. It's going to get worse as you go west. So the heat index, what it feels like, could be hitting uh, the triple digits for days in a row, but could be well beyond 100. 105 to 110 as you head into western Kentucky. So this is not just oppressive heat and humidity. It could be dangerous for some folks, especially if you work outside. In the 80s today, scattered showers, thunder showers out there. Got to watch out for that potential for heavy rain. That'll gradually wind down overnight. We'll have an isolated shower storm hanging in. And we'll keep a low end chance for a few in there Thursday. But by Thursday, we're going to be trading in the heat and humidity, or I should say the showers and storms for that uh, crank upwards in the heat and humidity levels. And boy, if you're playing golf <laughs> for the Parbasol, you're going to be dodging those showers and storms today, and then you're going to be wiping sweat off your brow this weekend. It is just going to be straight up swampy out there all the way through the end of the weekend. Oh, Tom, thank you. As long as we're talking golf today, the Barbasol Championship is hosting Pro-Am Day, and you can attend for